Today we're traveling on the German high-speed train, the ICE, from Frankfurt Airport to Basel, Switzerland. This trip should take less than three hours, but because this is the German Intercity Express, you can count on something going wrong today on Marcus Travels. How about this for a first impression of the Frankfurt Airport train station? Just listen to the quality of these announcements. And this is not a problem with my microphone. It worked just fine in all these other clips. If you were able to hear what they said in that announcement, please let me know in the comments. Because we have a first class ticket, we have access to the Deutsche Bahn lounge here at Frankfurt Airport. You access the lounge by going down this escalator. But do note that you won't be able to bring a luggage cart here. There is no elevator that stops on that floor. Welcome to the Deutsche Bahn lounge here at the Frankfurt Airport long distance train station. We're going to be here for more than an hour because our train from Frankfurt Airport to Basel is actually delayed by about 50 minutes at this time. The Deutsche Bahn lounge offers a few different types of seating. There is this cafe type area, we have couches and then we also have these armchairs. For free you can get a small selection of hot drinks and cold drinks. There is a workspace with these big departure boards. And the information shown there will be a key theme for this trip. There is also a vending machine that will sell you some simple food items. This lounge is not really worth seeking out, but if you're here you may as well use it if you have a first class ticket. Unfortunately we ended up spending four hours here, which is way too much and you will learn exactly why in this video. The departure time of the train on which we are currently booked was 14.06. In this picture there is less than one hour delay. But our original departure time was 09.51. Lufthansa destroyed our luggage and made sure that we did not catch that 09.51 train. So they rebooked us on this one instead, which as you can see is more than four hours after the original departure. And then we're going to add another few hours of Deutsche Bahn delays. Because Deutsche Bahn ended up cancelling all of the stops on this train after Mannheim. I asked the Deutsche Bahn staff what we should do. And they instructed us to take the 1615 train instead. That is over two hours after the train that we had been rebooked on. Here we can see the changes in schedule in action. This is the 1406 train. And as you can see, it is now only going to Mannheim instead of all the way to Basel. And this now is the 1615 train. On these departure boards, you can see the Lufthansa flight numbers on there. On the board, you can also see that first class is going to be in sectors Charlie and Bravo. At this point of the video, I would normally talk about the layout of the cabin. And it should look like this in first class on the Intercity Express. I would talk about the seat features for example, but on this train none of that matters at all because the train was full and we had standing room only here in first class. Welcome aboard the luxurious experience on board the ICE in first class today and we got the very special standing room only seats. The alternative is up there on the baggage shelf there would be some uh, lie flat seats up there but we are in the first class only, that's the premium cabin over there. I'm going to enjoy this trip down to Basel, SBV. See how many people survive. <laughs> the hand luggage that we had went up there on the baggage shelf. But the big suitcases had to stay down here on the ground. This is certainly not ideal because we do actually block the aisle. Oh, and I forgot to mention the most premium feature here is that there's very easy access to the toilets because I'm standing literally next to the toilet door. So anybody who passes through here they get um, they can participate in the video good stuff now Deutsche Bahn does find a very clever solution to this namely they kick us out at Mannheim that's the next station we are instructed to take the next train going all the way to Basel welcome to Mannheim this adventure with the German traffic companies continues we are now on our second ICE train. They kicked us out here at Mannheim. For everybody who didn't have a reservation with that particular train, which I previously explained, we had to change. When uh, this train, which is 
originally going to Interlac and Oste is only going to Basel SPB. But we didn't manage to get into the first class coach because it was at the other end of the train, opposite of what was written on the sign. Hopefully we'll be in Basel at some point this week. But I will say one positive thing about this experience. I think it's better to have a seat in second class than standing next to the toilet in first class. So in my book, this is an upgrade. Now I'm just waiting for the champagne. So now let's do a tour of the second class instead. The seats are laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration. There is a sturdy table in front of me as well as a small trash can. We just departed Mannheim with a delay of I don't know how much anymore. Our original departure from Frankfurt Airport was supposed to be 9.51 a.m. It is now 6 p.m. so I think the train was supposed to be in Mannheim originally around 11 a.m. or something like that. So we're looking at a beautiful seven hour delay just about now. A couple of more stops left. We only got one stop from Frankfurt Airport to Mannheim until we were kicked out. Let's see what happens on the rest of this trip. These armrests on the edge here cannot be moved, but the one in the middle can be raised and lowered. Here we are stopping at one of the intermediate stations at Karlsruhe. And this is us departing from Freiburg, which is the last station in Germany on this trip. We just left Freiburg in Breisgau, and the next station is going to be Basel by Jibanov. That is the first of two train stations in the city of Basel. The next one after that is going to be Basel SBB, and that is going to be the terminus station of this train today. It was originally scheduled to go all the way to Interlaken in Switzerland, but because of the massive delays we experienced today, it will stop at Basel SBB. The plan was to arrive in Basel 12.36 p.m. originally. Now it looks like we'll be arriving something like half past 8 p.m. So that is a big old delay for this trip today. I don't know, should I say something positive? One saving grace, I guess, is that during the last few stops, more people got out than got in. So we have a couple of rows to ourselves here in the second class compartment. Freiburg is actually quite nice, and I will be back here in about a month's time. It is the closest major city to what has been voted as the best theme park in the world eight years straight. It's called Europa Park, and I will feature it in a future video right here on Marcus Travels, so hit that subscribe button for more premium travel content coming your way. In terms of onboard service, there is a bistro car in the middle of the train. But because the train was so full, the lines were massive. In terms of entertainment, Deutsche Bahn offers free Wi-Fi in all classes on the ICE train. It's not super fast, but it is very nice to have. Final stop on this ICE train. That was Basel Bad Schibanov, the German railway station. Next stop is going to be the Swiss and French railway station, Basel SBB. We made it to Basel SBB on that ICE train right there behind me. Here on my left is a much nicer train, namely a Swiss train, because they are actually on time. The delays were absolutely amazing on the Deutsche Bahn. I'll share some more thoughts from the studio. So what's my recommendation about the German ICE trains? Now on the one hand, they are a legendary high-speed train, and they do form the basis of the German train network. But on the other hand, they often suffer from miserable levels of delays and cancellations like on our trip today. So the recommendation is plan for those delays and disruptions. In this case, I ended up arriving home eight hours after the original arrival time. But there are other European train products that I really like. Click or tap the screen right here to watch my full review of the first class product on the Swedish SJ3000 and 2000 trains. Thank you very much for watching Marcus Travels today and I'll see you in the next video.